Hey, what's up, Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, aka Barnacles. And if I sound weird, it's because I'm sick. But today we're going to do an unboxing of the Nvidia Shield because I've had it sitting on my desk for like four days and I'm sick, and now's the perfect time for me to sit down and get some use out of it. So I can't wait any longer. So, guys, Without further ado, we're going to unbox this thing in the man cave bedroom right here. Um, I should call it the woman cave bedroom too because my wife hangs out here. Give you a quick little go around. But if you guys want to know more about it, I just posted another video right before this one with another walkthrough. So I won't get into it. But right now we're going to go ahead and unbox the NVIDIA Shield right down here on my wife's hope chest. And I'm going to be sitting on that awesome, awesome leather ottoman. Alright guys, here we have it, the NVIDIA Shield. Just picked this up from Newegg last week. Um, I wanted to do an unboxing right as I received it, but unfortunately I got sick. I got some nasty ass bugs, seriously. I got over one and then I got another one right during it. So, yeah, sometimes shit happens, right? So, I figured I'm not waiting any longer. I want to lay in bed and use this damn thing, so we're unboxing it. So, the box is actually really, really freaking nice, as you can see here. Um... And on the bottom it just has a little thing even tells you how to open it I mean I think that's funny because like it's such a complicated box you need instructions on how to open it so it said to do that to open it but of course you need to do more you have to open these little tabs here on the side let's go ahead and get those come on now come on now Nvidia gives me your spoils I can has Nvidia shield come on all right, so there we have it. We have successfully removed the condom from the box. And now, it should be a matter of just sliding it out. So there we go. Come on. Ta-da! All right, so we'll go ahead and toss that aside. And now we have the box. It's like a freaking jewel case here. And we'll just open it up. It's like, oh my God, shows me. Oh, oh, opens like a jewelry box. Look at that. Oh my god, could they have seriously spent any more money on presentation? And just so you guys know, I'm just sitting here in my blue robe. <laughs> I'm not putting on anything for this. Um, Alright, so the shield looks like it's got a little seat belt on it so it doesn't come out of its awesome little cradle. Remove that. Um, I'm going to be honest, it's bigger and heavier than I was expecting. I mean, this thing's pretty damn beefcake, man. It. Uh, I don't know how much it weighs. I'll, I'll put the specs in the description, but... Uh, it, it weighs a hell of a lot more than I thought it would, so I don't know if it's they need the extra heat sink inside for that Tegra, but uh, holy crap. So let's see. Looking at the back here, hopefully you can see that. It's a model P2450, I think that's right. Yep, 2450. 5 volts at 2 amps is how it's powered. So basically USB power, but twice the amps. Um, it looks like it has an HDMI out. Uh, USB out or in and out uh, and a headphone jack so that's pretty cool I'm kind of curious to find out what the USB is for though um, I don't know if it's so you can use it as a controller on the computer or what but we'll we'll figure it out uh, go ahead and flip up the lid here let's see does it got like cellophane on the screen or something touch touch okay well whatever we'll uh we'll figure it out so looking at it right now it it pretty much looks and feels like an xbox controller um everything's kind of more recessed in because of the screen uh but feels really comfortable actually um yeah honestly that's that's super comfortable that's actually more comfortable than a regular xbox controller so it looks like they did their homework it looks like it's got two screen uh, two speakers up here for stereo which is nice um, I don't know if it comes with a charge on it. Let's see if we can fire this bad boy up. You know me, I don't read any instructions. So, let's see, which one of these guys looks like a power button on this damn thing? Um, let's probably like hold that or something. Yep. There it is. Alright, we're starting up. Let's go ahead and turn the light down a little bit. Nvidia Shield. Noise. Okay. Now, now that I know how to turn it on, I'm guessing I can remove this protective film off the screen. There we go. No need for that. 
And before we go any further with that, let's scoot that to the side and see what else is in the box. Because of course they're not going to just give us the handheld, they're going to give us other cool stuff too. So looking at the bottom here, it looks like we have a package of software, uh, looks like an AC adapter to USB for charging, and here's a USB charging cable. So it charges through USB, that's pretty cool. So that, that, I mean, I'd have to verify, but that means you could probably charge the thing off of a computer, which is nice, or a laptop. And there's nothing else in the bottom there. So, and their glue horribly failed. You can see the glue down here in the bottom of the box. Like, that was supposed to hold that in. And then this up here on the top is supposed to be held in by that glue up here at the top. I don't know if you guys can see it, but anyways, the glue failed. So, uh, NVIDIA, come on guys, get with it. Beautiful box and you guys skimped on the glue. I'm just kidding, I could give two shits about the glue, guys. Okay, so coming over here, let's open up this nice little packet they gave us. Okay, so Shield, got the registration and warranty information here. How to register your product, I will be doing that because this is uh, NVIDIA's first time building something like this and uh, I really don't want to be the person left holding the bag when it breaks. Uh, looks like it includes a poster. Uh, let's see if we can unfold this thing. Ah! So it looks like you get a little poster with it that you can put on the wall. So, I don't know, I might put that up in the man cave. Probably not, though. Okay, getting back to it. And for those of you that are wondering, that's a Zoom H4n. That's what I'm recording the audio on that you're hearing right now. Because uh, I figured the audio would be a little bit better quality than what this little Canon can do. But we'll, we'll figure that out in post. I don't know. Uh, so anyways, back to it. Oh, looks like I went to sleep on me. Come on, wake up. All right, so let's see here. It's talking about functions. How to go back and how to go forward. All right, let's get a little bit of a better angle on this and start playing with it. Alright, so by continuing, you are agreeing to NVIDIA software license agreement. Yeah, sure, I agree, whatever. I read it, you guys watched me. Alright, so English, start. The touch screen's really cool, it's capacitive touch. I got the man cave wireless network and the home wireless network both showing. Let's go ahead and log into that. Um, you guys don't need to see this part. Alright, I entered my password, guys, for my Wi-Fi network, and I'm now on. Now it's asking if I have a Gmail account, which I do. So let me go ahead and enter that information. Okay, so I entered my information there, guys. Now it's logged in, and it says, uh, it asks if I want to restore my Gmail account to this device and keep this device backed up with my Google account. That's really cool. See, so hit next. Another really cool feature is when you want to type on the screen, it folds all the way back. So it's really easy to type on. Feels really solid, too. I commend NVIDIA for the build quality. The screen isn't floppy at all. Nothing moves, no noise. That's pretty damn epic. Next. Use Wi-Fi location, let Google assess. Yeah, I don't care, Google. You can know where I'm at. See, device is ready to use. Yes. Make yourself at home. Huh. Well, I apologize for the, the focus issues, guys. It's hard to tell with this little LCD screen on the back of the camera. But anyways, this looks like the main menu here. You got Hulu Plus, Twitch TV, Sonic 4 Cell. Oh, it said it lost its connection. Just like Android, just go in here and say, okay, so it's connected again. Okay, so now we're in the Shield menu. Looks like it has Sonic 4. Let's open that up and try that. Sega! Ooh, the sound on it is loud. Is that full volume? Let's see. No, that wasn't even full volume. Uh, the camera's probably not going to convey that very well, but that was uh, that was loud. All right, episode four. Visit the store now. Uh, I just want to play here. Opt out. There we go. No, I don't want to press any button. Um, that's weird. The D-pad doesn't work. Okay, let me turn the volume down. The, the D-pad doesn't work to navigate. <laughs> this guy right here. But this does. 
So, typical Android, right? I guess it just depends on the app and what they implemented, right? So, let's go ahead and start. All right. Um, the screen looks amazing. I don't know if the camera's doing it justice here, but the, the colors and the brightness are phenomenal. You cannot see a pixel on the screen. It is super high res. Okay. Oh, wow. The graphics are beautiful. Oh, hi, Xander. My, my kid heard a video game play, and he's trying to come in here and check it out. <laughs> It's okay, Xander. You can play with it later, buddy. Right now, I got to show it to the internet, peoples. All right. So, the motion is incredibly fluid. The colors are... This is awesome. I'm going to turn off the light and see if you guys can get a better look at the screen. Again, looking at the LCD, I can't tell if it's focusing very well. I hope it is. All right, so I gotta do something here. I don't even remember how to play this game. Okay, so it said I gotta crouch down, speed up. Come on. Maybe I gotta get a run at that thing? I don't know. Come on. Come on, damn it. Oh, it says push against it. I see. Oh, okay. Dude, there is zero frame drop in this game. The graphics are beautiful. It's smooth. Smoother than any Android game I've played. Alright, come on. Hit the bumper. There we go. I kind of miss Sonic the Hedgehog. This is a fun game. Super fast pace and super smooth. Wow. Like And like I said, zero frame drop, right? So... Alright, so now it's, it's trying to teach me how to do stuff. Well, anyways, that's pretty damn amazing. So let's not spend a bunch of time in here. Let's hit that and go back to the main menu. Um, went back to the main menu really fast. Let's see here. To navigate... It's really easy. What is that? Uh, expandable? Rearmed? Let's check that out. So far, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This is surprising me. I kind of thought this was going to be just like, you know, another, you know, uh, Android tablet. And it's proven to actually be a lot better than that. The quality, the build, the speed, the performance, so far everything seems really cool. Now, I haven't done a massive amount on it, but, you know, you guys have seen everything I've done with it. I took it out of the box and started playing with it, so what you guys see is exactly my out-of-box experience. Okay, so select weapon, movement, and fire. The touch screen requires a very light touch, just like you'd expect from a capacitive touch display. Let's see. Oh. Which one was fire? I forgot. Oh, you fire that way. Now this game, it, it's running pretty smooth. It's a constant frame rate, but it doesn't look nearly as smooth as Sonic was. Now it could be because this is a 3D game and Sonic wasn't. But uh, still, all things considered, this is pretty smooth and it's consistent. You're not having that hiccup and frame drop. But like you'd expect from an Android device, I mean, depending on the game and the publisher and how they coded it, and uh, what language and libraries they used and which engine they used. I mean, it's all going to have a huge effect on the performance. The screen and the graphics look beautiful, though. Whoa, and that fell on me and killed me. So, the graphics are actually really, really freaking good. So now, if I go back, just hit the button. It goes back to the main screen really fast. Um... Let's see. Looks like you can swipe up and down. So shield game, shield store, and PC game. So I haven't set up the any of the PC stuff. So no GeForce GTX PCs found. So I'll have to figure out how to set that up here in a little while. Um, like I said, that's the feature I'm most interested in. So let's go ahead and quit out of this game. 
Oh, and it took me back to Sonic, so Sonic was still running, so that's pretty cool. Just get out of there, I don't care. Alright, I'm done. Get me out of here. Yes, I want to exit. Alright, so that's actually cool. Um, it's cool, it sees all my networks and stuff. My cat's trying to get out of the room. So that's pretty cool. So let's hold that down. Let's see, you can go into airplane mode. Let's see, Miracast wireless display. Connect to display. What the hell is that? Game mode. Wirelessly stream video and audio to a compatible adapter or display. For example, your TV. Oh, I'll have to figure out how to set that up. That would be badass if I could just lay in bed and play games off this on my projector. Oh, we're going to have to try that if that works. So let's go back. Uh, here we are back at the main menu. You can see it's got the typical stuff like we can go to YouTube. And, you know, it's just the YouTube Android app. But the sound is great. The sound quality is amazing. I mean, I, I get so disappointed with, like, the Game Boys and the Sony PSPs and stuff. They got just shitty audio quality out of the box. It looks like they actually put some decent audio in this thing. So, the screen, really smooth scrolling. It actually reminds me a lot of iOS. Like, I have a Google Nexus 7, and it doesn't scroll very smooth and everything. I, I like that this feels like it's real-time tracking. You know, you don't notice a lot of lag. So, let's, uh, you know, looking through here. Mathis Wendell, I love this guy. If you guys haven't seen his channel, it's pretty awesome. This guy can make anything out of wood, and I mean anything. Let's see if it works here. Come on, YouTubes. Processing. There we go. Let's turn the volume up. It's buffering. Oh, because I'm, down I'm downloading a bunch of Steam games upstairs right now. It's probably just killing my internet bandwidth. I used exactly the same kind of gears for my wooden router. That is so loud, guys. <laughs> the speakers on this thing are amazing. So, wow. Okay, so this thing this thing's actually surprised me a lot in a lot of areas so far. Especially just doing this, you know, half-assed unboxing down in the man cave bedroom because I'm sitting here sick as hell. Uh, I'm actually enjoying this a lot. Uh, let's see, if you go to the store... I love that you have a mouse cursor, or you can use the screen, or you can use the D-pad, or you can use the other, the analog D-pad. It's like you can literally navigate any way you want. It's like, oh, here, I'll use a mouse cursor, a little mouse cursor moving around on the screen, or a scroll. That's, that's just awesome. 1941 frozen front, what's that? Here, let's try it. Install. App permission, phone calls, reads phone status and identity. Why the fuck would a game need to do that? Oh, well, I accept. <laughs> I don't care. Whatever. Let's see if I can give a look at what it looks like in my hands here. It, for a big-handed player, this is an awesome controller. If you have small hands, I don't know if you'd have problems, but I can definitely say if you have big hands like I do, that this thing fits really super comfortably. And all the buttons are really easily accessible. Um, it's not hot either. I haven't been using it in a long time, but it's it's not even warm. It's actually nice and cool. I haven't really been, you know, giving it the beans, but still actually really, really good. And if you push the NVIDIA Shield, it opens the Shield application so you can just navigate your games and stuff. Looks like a really solid UI. And it's got all the same capabilities of Android, which is nice. And it can literally be used as a tablet. And it can be closed up like this, and it's a shell. Now, I wouldn't say that this is going to fit in your pocket. I mean, it, it might. I mean, hell, it'll fit in my robe pocket. I know that. I got a big-ass robe pocket on the side here. So as long as I'm wearing my robe around the house, probably get that sucker in there. Oh, yeah. Like a glove. But I don't know how well it would fit in, like, you know, your jeans pockets. Unless you have, like, you know, some huge-ass jeans. Um... It was nice, it shut down, woke right up when I opened the lid. That's what I would expect. Too cool, guys. This is actually really, really neat. Let's click the NVIDIA. Oh, that's, okay, that's their software. What's this? For signing into Google. 
So it only has two games on there. Uh, we'll try some more games later on. But for now, I want to see if I can get it to link up to my computer to play real games. That's, that's what I really wanted this thing for. Well, guys, I tried to get the streaming feature to work on the Shield and uh, by going over to PC Games and Sam 5, but this is pretty much what we get. It says no available GeForce GTX PCs found. And I even went upstairs in the man cave and configured the machine and it said that it was ready for streaming. I disabled the firewall. I made sure they were on the same network. Um, so I went online and did a little research and a lot of people are running into these problems. And that's, you know, it's a beta feature. So I'm going to go look at my router settings and see if it's possible that the wireless network and the physical LAN are somehow uh, segregated uh, in some way, shape or form. But I'm able to like reach and access everything on the internet and my local network from this. So I don't know why the feature isn't working. So we'll follow up on that in a future video. But uh, for right now, I'm incredibly pleased with the device. That streaming feature is something that I really, really want though. So I'm definitely going to get that figured out. But as far as just a solid Android device, build quality, I give the thing seriously a 10 out of 10. I can't fault it for anything. The thing is solid. There's no, no noises when you shake it. The speaker is loud as hell, which in a handheld, that's like unheard of. The controls are very, very comfortable. The buttons are smooth, but they're really firm and they give a really positive click to them. The D-pad is awesome. Uh, I can't fault this thing for build quality at all. It's, it's epic. Uh, the screen is super, super bright. The colors are fantastic. The resolution is insane. I don't know what the physical resolution is, but I cannot see a pixel even getting this close to it. So the physical resolution is phenomenal. And the color and the fact that it's got that touch screen and it's so smooth and it also doubles as a full-blown Android device. Uh, I, th I think it's awesome. To be, to be honest, I think I'll probably use this more than I use my, tab my Android tablet. Uh, just because it, you know, it serves a dual purpose. And the fact that it folds up and it's all protected and it feels like it's, you know, like I said, it's really, really durable. Uh, I don't see it breaking anytime soon. And it sports 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz networks. Uh, I don't really know what else to say about it. I've only played two games on it, so I'll do a follow-up video once I've played a lot more games and I've had more time with it. But from a build quality and quality of components perspective and how smooth the software runs, uh, with exception to the streaming feature, which of course doesn't work, uh, until I figure that out, I'd have to say this is a pretty slick device. Now, 300 bucks is a steep price tag. I'm not gonna lie, that's, that's some money right there. But if, you, if you're looking for a handheld gaming solution that has a huge library of games, because I mean, pretty much it's going to run whatever Android can. And it looks like the library for the Shield specific games are actually pretty big also. So I think realistically, it's a great device. And I'm a, I'm a lot more impressed with it than I thought I would be. Honestly, I just thought it was going to be another little handheld. But after seeing that you can fold the screen all the way back, and it's really easy to access the screen and hold the device while you're using the screen, I thought that was going to be awkward, because if it locked in that position, it would have been hell. So I like the fact that it's like that. I like the touchscreen is really, really smooth. I love the resolution and color on the screen. I love the controller. Uh, at this point, I'm just repeating myself. The thing kicks ass. So if you're looking for a pocket handheld gaming system that's Android-based, you can't go wrong with this. And a lot of people have been talking about the poor man solutions where you just basically sync an Xbox controller to a phone. Now, if you got a phone with a Tegra 4 processor and the same specs and the same resolution screen, then yeah, sure, I guess you've got a poor man's version. But is that really, you know, once you're done buying the controller and buying the phone and getting that thing all set up, you're probably going to be close into it the same money. And uh, the other thing I like about this is no matter what with the phone, you're not going to have one that folds down to a complete sealed system like this. It's just compact and roughly the size of an Xbox controller. You know, a little, little bit more girth to it. I mean, it is heavy, uh, but well, well made. I don't see this breaking anytime soon. Oh, and one other thing I just noticed looking at the back of it, it looks like it has a memory card slot so you can expand the memory on it. It looks like a micro SD, don't quote me on that. And uh, the whole time using it, even while I was upstairs trying to get it to stream and I had stuff running on it, it barely gets warm. I was worried this thing was going to get flaming hot. My Google Nexus 7 about catches fire in my hands every time I use it. So guys, I'm going to have to say at this point, the NVIDIA Shield is a pretty badass little piece of hardware. And it seems to work as advertised. So I think NVIDIA might actually be on to something here. Uh, we'll see if it catches on moving into the future. But 
I'll tell you right now, compared to my uh, Ouya, which don't get me wrong, I thought the Ouya was pretty cool, and it's Android based also, but I would take this over the Ouya any day. And apparently there's ways that you can get this to stream to television also. I'm going to investigate some of these features once I get the streaming uh, all figured out. But you can stream stuff to the television too. So you can actually use this as a controller for the TV. And I was reading that you can also use it as a controller for the PC. So you could actually use this to control your PC games while you're playing them on the screen. But, I mean, that's, that's a lot of really cool shit this thing does. So guys... I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you get a chance to get your hands on one of these. I can tell you right now, the second you pick it up, you're going to be like, wow, this actually feels a hell of a lot more durable than I was expecting. Uh, the build quality is probably the most shocking thing on this. I honestly thought it was going to be kind of flimsy. I thought the Nintendo DS uh, would probably set the standard for rugged hardware because Nintendo Nintendo's good for that. But no, nah, this pretty much kicks its ass. I don't think I've ever held a handheld anything that feels this durable and this solid. So guys... Hope the video gave you a nerdgasm. I'm sorry I'm sick sitting here in my robe in the man cave bedroom. But uh, it is what it is. And when I get better, we'll definitely be doing some more videos with this. This is not going to be a one-time play like the Ouya was. This is definitely going to be a success in this household. And I let my kid play for it a little while off camera. And uh, he was just blown away. Now granted, he's only three and a half years old. He's blown away by everything. But uh, it definitely got his attention. All right, guys. I'm going to wrap it up and go take some more medicine and try to kick this cold. Take it easy. Till next time, signing off. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, favor, and subscribe. It helps me a bunch. Also, come follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I love interacting with you guys. Hey, what's up, Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, a.k.a. Barnacles, and I've been sick as a dog for the last week, so I figured, what the hell, I'll give you guys an updated tour of the man cave bedroom. So you can see I'm sitting here rocking my nice blue robe. Um, not putting on any real clothes for this <laughs> and I'm gonna warn you guys you might see some naked feet along the way because I sure as hell ain't putting socks on but uh, sit tight and let's do uh, an updated tour of this uh, this bedroom of mine